Hey guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook business page from scratch, even if you've never created a business page before, specifically for local business and even more specifically for real estate agents. We're going to go over profile picture, we're going to go over cover image, we're going to go over a call to action button and how to get people to subscribe to your Facebook Messenger list. And guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure that you click on the subscribe button below and click on the little bell so you know when new videos are going live every single day. I do a live video every single day, especially for the next 90 days here. You guys don't want to miss it. All right, guys, so we're going to dive right into it here. Uh, here on the Facebook page, this is just your home page. If you've not created a personal account, you'll need to. Um, your personal and your personal account and your business account will be totally separate. They'll never interact unless you want them to. So the first thing you need to do here, and this is a new uh, new addition, so click on create. Once you do that, you can create a page, an ad, a group, an event. Uh, but we're just going to stick to a business page here. So we're going to click on page, and then from here. What you want to do is either choose a business or brand or community or public figure figure for local businesses you'll want to do the business so click on get started here and then from here if you're a real estate agent what i would do is just name this your name right so i would say adam middlesworth and if you want you could do uh, remax or whatever that is right you could do keller williams uh, i would personally just put my name and then you just choose to describe it. So if you have a gym, you would just say uh, fitness facility, or you just say local business. There's real estate here, there's restaurant. Um, if you're a dentist's office, you could do dentist. You know, you do all those types of things. We're gonna stay with real estate. You'd either do real estate agent, real estate, real estate services. Depends kind of where you are uh, in the spectrum, right? So if you're a solo agent, just choose real estate agent. And then if you want, you can do the your business address if you've got an office, um, if you have a mailing address of some sort, you can put that in there. Um, I don't really want to, so I'm gonna say don't show address. I'm gonna click on continue here. Oh, let's do this. Um, this is our old address. Do that. Click on continue. I already have a business page with my name, so I'm gonna call it Adam Middlesworth Realtor. Once this pops up, then you can personalize it, right? So if you have a profile picture, just make sure that it's, uh, I think it's 720 by 720, and you can upload a profile picture there. We're just gonna skip this for now. Cover photo, same thing, we're gonna skip that for now. I'm gonna show you tools to use to get those correct dimensions. On here, I don't want to do that. Here, I'm going to update. So if I want to go and create an image, I would go to canva.com and I would choose custom dimensions with 720 height, 720, click enter. And then what I can do is I can upload an image of myself. I've already got one, so we're just going to do that. You can click on download here, or you, you can title it. So profile picture, download, download. And then the next thing you want to do is create a cover image. So click on here. And then if you try to search, if you just click on the search here and just do Facebook, all of these will pop up, right? And what you want is the Facebook cover. So click on that. And this is going to be perfectly uh, sized. And then what's cool is you can go over here and browse through uh, Canva's already pre-made free templates that they have, right? And you can choose one and go from there. I'll even see if they have one for real estate. And that one that I like. So if you just scroll down here and choose one, let's choose this one. What's cool about this is it has kind of a, a filter and a call to action. So let's just call this um, Middlesworth 
Realtor. And then down here, I'm going to say, oh, click learn more. And you're going to see why I'm saying that in a second. Say so click more, learn more for uh, Chicago real estate market updates. I don't like that, so I'm going to say, You even put this right here. Let's see what that does. I don't like that. You guys get the, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but you get the drift, right? You can say click learn more for Chicago real estate market updates. Then from here, you're going to go to uploads. And then what I would do is I would choose um, an image and go into the background here. You just say send to back, and then it's in the back. And you can edit this, the opacity is up here, and go kind of like this, right? Um, and then we're just going to save this, say Facebook cover image, download. And then we can go back to our uh, Facebook page here. And upload all of this. We're going to upload, choose from photos, or we're just going to upload the photo and see where this was. Okay, I forgot to name that, so it's going to be this one. Obviously, you'll want to take a little bit more time. I'm going really, really fast here. If this works, I'm going to choose profile picture. And then from here, we're going to click on add a cover. Okay, it is nice to have your face, right? So if you're a real estate agent, your face is your brand, so you want your face there. Add a cover, we're gonna choose from photos. Oh, excuse me, we're gonna choose upload. And then we're gonna upload that image, right? So what did I call that? that. Ideally, you would have one picture of a home, um, something like that. So we're going to click save here. This isn't ideal. It's not beautiful. You want to spend a little bit more time than I did. Click on save here. And then from here, you want to click on add a button. What you can do is you can say learn more about your business. Click on learn more. And you can add your website link. Now here is what you'll want to do. You can either send them to your website. I would send them either to a landing page or through Facebook Messenger. If you're gonna send them through Facebook Messenger, what I would do is I would go to minichats.com and I would choose a growth tool to send them market updates. So if you have something on your website that has market updates, send that, send everybody who clicks there to that part of your website. So add, you know, www.adammiddlesworth.com slash market updates. And they would go there, right? Or we can go straight to Messenger. That way we can send them messages every so often. And there's a higher open rate and response rate within Messenger. So we're gonna click on Growth Tools here. If you, you can have a free account with ManyChat. If you just sign up, uh, it's a free account. Just click on New Growth Tool here. Click on Market Updates. Click on Messenger Reference URL. Click on that. And then here you can say, this is going to be the, the very first message they get from you. So I'll go in and edit that. Say, hey, first name. Thanks for requesting market updates. You know, I'm just going really fast here. Click the button below to get weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever you want to do in your monthly updates, weekly market report updates, and then click on add button here. I'm just going to say get market updates. And then you want to send them either a message or open to the website again, say google.com. That would obviously go to your website. So we're going to click done, click publish. Go back to your tool, go back to market updates, click next. Once you click next here, 
bookmark it, updates, no spaces, no capitalization, click save. And then once that happens, you can click on copy URL to clipboard and then go back to your Facebook page and then paste that in there. Click on save, click on finish. And then from here, you've got your basic profile done, right? You got your basic profile, you have a call to action. You can send them market updates whenever you want via Messenger. And guys, if you want more information on Facebook Messenger or Facebook ads, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I make a new video every single week on YouTube based on Facebook ads, Instagram advertising, Facebook Messenger bots, all things digital marketing. So make sure that you subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, comment down below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.